Fluffy. Good morning, guys. It is the 8th of December today, I believe, and it's already 12 o'clock lunchtime, midday. I am very, 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 very hungry. However, I also need to get the electric bill paid today, and I cannot remember if the bank closes at one o'clock or two o'clock. So I need to run quite quickly down to the bank and pay the electric bill. And I think I'm actually gonna pick up a few things to make something different for breakfast today. Just so I'm not feeling porridge. I'm just, just not feeling it. Oh, there's just a trail of mud going all the way up to my shoes. Look at the state of them, absolutely covered in mud, you. It's kind of my own fault though, since um, I was wearing these on Sunday, which is when, you know, we went out with friends and apparently uh, while under the influence, I decided it would be a great time to explore a muddy field. Luckily I had Dan there to carry me back out of it again. Unfortunately, my shoes and also the jeans I was wearing that night, they didn't come away from it unscathed. I think I have everything. So, uh, let's go to the bank. Well, that did not go quite to plan. Apparently the bank's not open at all on Saturdays. I swear they used to be. I, I don't know whether they've changed their opening times or whether my memory is just false, but I'm sure they used to be open on Saturdays. Either way though, didn't get my electric bill paid today and Monday is the last day that I can pay it locally. And if I can't do it Monday, I've got to go up to the city to do it, which is a pain in the backside. Fingers crossed I can get it done Monday. Wasn't a totally wasted journey though. I did do a teeny tiny bit of breakfast shopping. I've got some minced garlic. I've got a bottle of water that I was drinking. I have some tomatoes. And a little treat for John, I picked him up a couple of dental sticks. He loves having things to chew on. Actually, change my mind, I'm not gonna give him one now. I'm gonna take him out to the toilet because it's, that clock is completely wrong. Well, that clock says it's, it's 20 past two, which means it's actually half past one. So it's time for him to go to the toilet. John, where are you going? This way. Good boy. Aye. You're having a really good old munch there, aren't you? Is that nice grass? Is it nice? Poor John has had to wait a whole year to get any grass to munch on. He's just going crazy now. I do feel like I should send him a memo that he's not a goat. I brought you out for a walk, not to graze. <laughs> Come on, you big sausage. Come on, get some exercise. You finished? Come on then, go home. Good boy. Was that fun? Did you have a nice time? Yeah, oh, oh, you've already seen it. I've got something for you. You want it? <gasps> it's a good boy that you go. <laughs> Happiest dog in the world. I managed to completely misjudge the weather today. It's so hard to tell the temperature accurately from inside our apartment, because our apartment it's freezing. You saw what I looked like when I left. I had my big coat on, I had a scarf, I had gloves, it was all wrapped up, ready to go. Two pairs of trousers. And in the apartment, I was feeling just about nice and cozy. Like, I, I could have gotten away with like maybe a hat or something just to, just to add to the coziness. I was outside for about 30 seconds and all of that came off. It was just so 
blooming hot out there. So I was just going out in just my t-shirt with my sleeves rolled up and I've got my, my joggers on and a pair of leggings underneath, which once I was out there for a bit, I was regretting. <laughs> once I've been back in the apartment for about an hour, I probably will get very, very cold again and I would not be surprised if I end up back in my rabbit dressing gown. <laughs> Why are you looking at me as though the door's closed? It's, it, it's open next to you. You can come inside. John, look, here. <laughs> You're not bored. While we were out, I noticed John was having a little bit of trouble going to the toilet. So instead of giving him his usual dog biscuits for his food today, I'm gonna to be giving him a little bit of white rice and some broccoli and peas, and I'm just gonna cook them together in a pan. Uh, broccoli and peas for the fiber to help get things moving, and rice is a good option because it's a, it's a nice bland food and it won't upset the stomach too much. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I suspect this is why he was eating so much grass today. I'm not sure why he's having trouble, but it does happen from time to time, so I'm not too worried. I'm just gonna boil that until the rice is fully expanded and then uh, let it cool down for 10 minutes so that you can have it. Yeah, you, you know I'm cooking for you, don't you? Yeah. Gonna have some vegetable rice, yeah? <gasps> you like your veggie rice, don't you? Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you love a bit of veggie rice. Oh, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. So that's the serving he's going to have for his breakfast. I'm going to give that a few minutes to cool down before giving it to him. And then I've put half of it into a storage container. Once again, going to let that cool down and then I will pop it in the fridge and he can have that for his dinner later. Clean up. And I'm off to my office to enjoy my bruschetta and edit yesterday's vlog. Should be fun. <laughs> it's just gone 8 p.m. and I have finally finished editing, rendering, compressing the video. It is uploading, which is great. However, it does mean it's not gonna be up until about 10 p.m. our time, so it's gonna be a late night for me. <laughs> Can we all just take a moment to appreciate how cute this wrapping paper is? This is my favorite wrapping paper this year. Guess whose vlogs I'm watching. There's my little princess. Hi. Hi, you wanna come out and play for a bit? Yeah, does that sound good? Come on, strong girl, you can do it. That's a good girl. Go on, go and play. Go and explore. There we go. Iodine is by far the easiest hamster to free range because she doesn't need any toys. Like you put toys out for her, she ignores them. She does not care about it. All she wants to do is explore. So you just let her out and leave her to it. And when she's done, she'll try and get back into her cage. She'll just climb back in it. In fact, actually, I, uh, I need to set up her little ramp so she can get back inside when she's bored. There we go. Just a simple tube back up into her cage. There's a ladder on the other side for her to get back down, although I suspect she will do what she always does and just jump. Didn't know where she'd gone. 
I was looking all over the floor for her, pulled out this drawer to see if she was under the unit. I've discovered... <laughs> She's up here! She must have climbed up between the wall and the back of the cupboard. Hi, what are you doing up here, princess? Yeah, that, this is maybe not the best place for you to be. Uh-huh. Um, it's a good thing that plant's fake. Can't be chewing on no dangerous things. Here you go, go play. Silly little scruff ball. Look how good you are now. Look how fluffy you are. Look how fluffy. Oh, you're just so beautiful. Aren't you? Stunning little thing. Look at that little face. Isn't you the most beautiful thing? Yeah. You're off to bed now, sweetie. <laughs> Finished with playtime now. Oh. And on that note, it's time to say goodnight to you guys as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.